Okay, first item on the agenda is the closed session, uh, closed session portion of the meeting. May I have a mover and seconder for a motion uh, under the authorities as printed in the agenda? Councillor Gladden, Councillor Muir, all in favor? All hands rising, motions carried. Hey, council approved the closed session minutes from the March 20th meeting in closed session, as well as discussed subjects relating to an identifiable individual and acquisitions of land or disposition of land. Time being 701, I'd like to call this meeting to order. First item on the agenda is the traditional territory acknowledgement followed by a moment of silence. Council, the Township of Red Rock, Red Rock hereby acknowledges that we are on the traditional territory of the Robinson Superior Treaty and that the land we gather on is home to the Red Rock Indian Band, the Anishinaabek and the Métis people. The okay, administration advises that there are no amendments to the agenda. Do any members of council wish to make amendments to the agenda? Seeing none, can I have a mover and seconder for a motion to approve the agenda as presented? Councillor Smith. Councillor Gladden. All in favor? Are there any declarations of interest to disclose? No, nope, seeing none. Uh, delegation for tonight's meeting has canceled due to illness. Okay, the last uh, minutes of the regular meeting, March 20th, are at, at items 5.1 of the agenda. Are there any errors or omissions to note in the minutes? Okay, seeing none. Are there any, is there a mover and seconder for motion to approve the minutes at 5.1? Councillor Muir, Councillor Smith. All in favor? All hands rising, motions carried. The first matter uh, at item 6.1, information purposes only relating to uh, request from other municipalities. Do any members of the council have any questions or wish to support the resolution? Councillor Smith. Um, <clears throat> is this something that we can put into support? I think realistically, uh, if we can uh, reduce any of our spending, that'd be great. Because uh, they're talking about trying to do is like a shared insurance cost or something like that, according to the very brief. Yeah, this has been an ongoing thing for a few years now. We we actually um, touched on it at the last council a few times, and um, and of course it's it's creeping into our lives again in the municipal world. What you're seeing is is very limited com very limited number of companies that will insure. So um, when you look at the township of Red Rock over the last few years, and our our renewal is up now. I've just got all the information in in the last week to do the renewal. Um, I believe we were up like 40 some percent, 42 percent over the, the previous year last year. So our insurance costs are significantly high, along with every other municipality in the world or, or in, 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 in Ontario. So at, at one point you would you would tender and, and you could get multiple bids. Uh, it's closed. That market is closed at insurance. So, yeah, I think this is one that's that's that's. It's something that as a group, I mean, as a community and, and as a group, uh, whether it's NOMA or AMO at that level, that we, we certainly have to continue to lobby. Any other comments on this? Yep. Is there a mover and seconder for a motion to support the correspondence from the municipality of Wawa regarding uh, municipal insurance costs? Councillor Smith, Councillor Brand. All in favor? All hands rising. Motion's carried. Okay. 
Next item 6.2 is for information purposes only regarding the resolution from NOMA addressing homelessness in Ontario. Do any members of council have any remarks or wish to support the resolution? Councillor Brand? I just have a few remarks. Um, being from a small community, we don't necessarily see the homelessness. Um, being on the Thunder Bay District Board, I've um, received some information on a, uh, you know, Thunder Bay has a significant homeless situation. And uh, the homeless population in 2018 had an outbreak of TB. In 2019, they had that HIV outbreak. And then with COVID coming in, uh, it just spread very quickly amongst the homeless. And then in the last three years, they've had a increase in syphilis with a significant increase last year. So not only are these people homeless, they're also, you know, affecting the healthcare system too. So I, I very much believe we should be, you know, supporting this. Even though we're not seeing it in our own community, it does affect all of us. Any other comments? Okay, is there a mover and seconder for motion to support the correspondence from NOMA regarding addre uh, addressing homelessness in Ontario? Councillor Brand, Councillor Gladden, all in favor? All hands rising, motions carried. <clears> okay, <throat> hey, inf information purposes only relating to the Ontario new news release on protecting boreal caribou. Do any members of council have any questions on this item? Councillor. Um, in reading the uh, the news release, uh, they were talking about a reference to on the ground habitat restoration. Um, is that only within the Thunder Bay area, or does that affect Red Rock at all? Is there anything that we would be seeing here? Um, I would have to. I would have to get you an answer on that. I I, I assume the study would would encompass the whole area, but we could certainly get that information. Yeah, I look online, I didn't see much. I just didn't know if you happen to know more, uh, especially with the amount of money they're getting. I just didn't know, knowing that the uh, boreal caribou are in our area as well. So. Any other questions? Okay, seeing none. Next item 6.4, information purposes only uh, from the Ministry of Natural Resources on floating uh, accommodations under the Public Lands Act. Do members of council have any remarks on this item? Councillor Gladden. I think this is the one that uh, Mayor uh, Landry referred to and um, I think it's, it just shows what uh, the advocacy of NOMA and AMO can, can do. And um, yeah, and I'm, I'm all for the changes. Or the, Resending of the changes. Councilor Mayor? Yeah, because specifically with the heat loops and water intakes, I mean, when you have multiple camps around a lake that are using heat loops, it does heat up a small inland lake quite a bit. I saw that a lot in Muskoka where you'd have a lake that was frozen and you start to get the heat loops. And it just, it does damage to those ecosystems, those heat loops. I'm, I'm sure, I'm sure that, uh, you know, this is going to be a good resolution. It does make sense. And I think the highlight of that one was exactly um, what Councillor Gladden was was speaking to, because there still is some consultation on this. But the the biggest piece that came out of it was the lobbying that did happen, where they they did make the change right away to to make because deep down in the bottom of this document, it was also stated that um, camping on Crown land was going to be cut down from twenty one days to seven, and the lobbying efforts of, of the communities got that removed right right off the top so that's the that's the change and why it's back so uh, and the impact for example to a community i mean who who's going to come and 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 explore your area if for hunting if they can only stay for seven days so i think that's the highlight here that that has been removed and it's still the back to the 21 days Okay, moving on, item 6.5, information purposes only relating 
uh, from the Ministry of Natural Resources relating to 2023-2024 inspection work schedule. Do any members of council have remarks on this item? Councillor Smith. Um, from what I was reading there, they're, they're saying there's a lot of uh, tree planting job opportunities in, in this area. <clears throat> With that, is there any way we can have maybe it highlighted on our Facebook, social media, or, or our website just to you know direct people that there are opportunities for well, that, especially for maybe students or things like that. I think that would be a good idea to kind of highlight that. I'm sure we can find the link um, and just advertise that they're looking that there's opportunities. Okay, 6.6, .6, information purposes only relating to the Thunder Bay DSAB board meeting minutes. Do any members of council have remarks on this item? Yes, seeing none. Item 6.7, .7, information purposes only relating to the Thunder Bay District Health Unit meeting minutes. Do any members of council have any remarks? Seeing none. Item 6.8, information purposes only regarding the mandated 10 digit dialing. Do any members of council have any remarks on this item? Besides, they started a few days early and notice that. Councillor Smith? Um, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if it's an issue here in, in, in Red Rock or not. Um, but do you, do you think that there's going to be um, training to be supplied to maybe uh, our? aging uh, residents and, and, and maybe having to change. I, I remember hearing some people say that they only have the seven digit entry into their phone and not that all, all, all 10 digits. So when they hit dial, it may not work. Um, I don't know if it's, I don't know. Wondering, right? Just thinking that. I think maybe if we hear uh, a few concerns, then maybe we can ask if there is a, a training session or the library is, is pretty good at offering some technology classes and just showing people how to do it. But if you're getting the phone numbers in, I'm pretty sure you can figure it out, add the other thing, but you never know, right? Councillor Glad. It's a time that we only had to do six and uh, four after. So I'm sure <laughs> that, yeah, a little bit of training through the library. They've been really good for, with everything else, but uh, yeah. Yeah, we can look at we can look at those options with TBTL. We just we wanted to share it for public viewing too, just so that I mean, it, it, you're, and and the mayor's right. I believe it did start a few days ago because I know I made a call and and it did it for me automatically. It said that, but it was going to expire shortly. Right, it was a two day warning or something. So, yeah, we can look at that. Okay, next item on the agenda, 8.1, are the minutes from the Red Rock Public Library Board uh, meeting on February 14th. Do any members of council have any questions? Council Brand? Not so much a question, but down here where the, um, the libraries received the Angus Mowat Award um, of Excellence, I, I think it would be nice to recognize that on our yeah. Facebook page. I think that's, but, uh, you know, very nice for our library to be included in that. Yeah, they do such a wonderful job. Any other comments on the report? Okay, is there a mover and seconder for motion to receive the minutes? <laughs> Councillor Smith, Councillor Muir, all in favor? All hands rising, motions carried. Okay, item 8.1, report on admi administrative activities. So does the CAO have a verbal update on the direction and discussion section? Yep. Just under the summary where we attended the TV, well, all of us attended that. I'm just curious, we had that uh, presentation on the invasive paramite. Paramites. Yeah. Paramites, yeah. Yeah. Is, Pragmites. Pragmites. Okay. is that part of our weed inspectors? Um, like, is that in the list? 
No, it wasn't actually. Uh, we had uh, they'd made reference to that at the at the conference, I think later, and then I did actually check um, on the uh, on the um, species that were on the list, and it wasn't a part of uh, of of the uh, you know, of no yeah noxious weeds. Councillor Mayor. That's and that's where I was confused as well after the presentation because there's the discussion that it was all along the highway, and then as soon as it moves into the wetlands, but then that's like it's it's evasive in Ontario in Canada, but that's the, the picture of of the person that the doctor there in Scotland, that's, they've got tons of them there, so they're evasive, but they're it, yeah it was interesting because she didn't say that they were on any lists. She said you got to get on it or it's going to cost millions later so i don't know what we're supposed to do because it's going even to identify them look like a wheat almost day yeah i i don't know how that process works a, a lot about that process but i do know that when i looked that it wasn't the, they were not part of what what is considered a noxious weed in ontario So is there any update on the black ash trees or that's ongoing? Anything yeah, the only update I did have there was the um, the black ash trees is um, there's been a, a stall on that. So they put a two year stall on that, whether that was uh, through lobbying or just uh, more more information needed. But um, so that 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 has been put on a two year delay. So I mean, that one is kind of off for now. Councillor Smith? Um, <clears throat> I don't know what number it was on here, though. Uh, do you have any update or, or uh, insight on here? You had uh, the budget 2023 planning session was March 20th to 29th. Uh, is there any update to that? or? Yeah, we're coming along quite well with that budget that we'll have it, uh, at least a draft or uh, at that first level to bring to council. Um, I think we put uh, I think we put a timeline on it of of, of hopefully having a, a budget for 2023, um, hopefully passed uh, by the first of May, but uh, with the projection to have um, documents in the hands of of council for viewing at least at those those early documents, but uh, um, as early as. Is, is probably next meeting so um, and then hopefully we can go through that process so it it's. It's coming along. It was. It was. There was a lot of work the last last year and this year, I guess, just because we we kind of redid a lot of the system. Like we've got it. Um, um, we've got it formulated now into a system that that will work uh, for years to come, and and hopefully it'll it'll be a lot easier process in in, in the following years because a lot of the operations, uh, you know, they. They're very constant. They're very repetitive, right? So, but uh, there's there's been a lot of work uh, to budget 2022 and now 2023. But we're getting there, and uh, and and again, our target is to hopefully have that done by the first part of May. Any other comments or questions on his report? Okay, is there a mover and seconder for motion to receive the report? Councillor Gladden, Councillor Muir, all in favor? All hands rising, motions carried. Next item 8.2 is a report on the post-election accessibility report. Do any members of council have any questions? Councillor Muir. Is this a new requirement, or was this uh, held last time as well? I believe it was. It was a requirement um, in the last election as well in okay. in twenty eighteen. Um, it it is relatively new, um, and and as you can see, a lot of um, we should have had this report done a, a little bit ago. Uh, but a lot of the municipalities um, were behind in this, and it was kind of that gentle reminder that uh, we got to get the the access or the uh, post-election accessibility report out. So, uh, 
it's 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 a requirement in 2022. I I, I think it was in 2018. Uh, yeah. Different format. Okay. It's a different format. But we're compliant now. Well, I guess if it's if it's accepted by resolution, we're compliant now. I don't have a resolution for this though. Do we need one to accept it? No, sorry. It's it's information only. It's just yeah, yeah. I, that's my fault. Sorry. It's okay. it's information only and it'll it'll with direction will get posted. Yeah. Okay. Just confirming that. Okay, next item 8.3 is a report on the NOMA administrative representative. Uh, do members of council have any questions? Councilor Muir? I think uh, CAO Figlamini is doing a very good job there. Very good. Thank you. Any other comments or questions? No, I've heard uh, nothing but wonderful things about Mark at that. Um, District uh, Municipal League uh, meetings. I, I did Congrats try hard. I did lobby hard to get somebody to run against me, but uh, none of my colleagues jumped up. Uh, as you can see, most of them, most of them left because I was going to nominate them because it's just another. It is another job, but uh, I mean, yeah, it's. Thank you. Well, we're glad that you're on the board representing Red Rock and the area. Okay, is there a mover and seconder for motion to support the nomination of Mark Vigamini for the position of Thunder Bay District Municipal League Administrative Rep on the NOMA board? Okay, Councillor Gladden, Councillor Muir, all in favor? All hands rising, motion's carried. Okay, hey, under unfinished business, do any members of council have any questions relating to these items? Or is there any update? I believe they're all ongoing. Okay. Okay, next item is the bylaw to confirm proceedings of council. Can I can I please have a mover and seconder for a motion to pass the bylaw? Councillor Muir, Councillor Smith. All in favor? All hands rising. Motion is carried. I want to wish everyone a happy Easter this weekend if you celebrate. Also a reminder, if you have uh, young children or grandchildren, we are hosting a Easter egg hunt on Saturday. So sign your children up. Okay, the time being, pardon me. Time being 7.23. No further business to attend to. The meeting is adjourned. <laughs>